Yo, what's poppin' boys and girls, ladies and gents. Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. We're doing something a little bit different today. We're gonna be doing the ultimate ballin' on a budget fishing challenge over here at Walmart. Got my boy Cody right here. What's and uh, we're gonna go in Walmart, spend a little bit of money, go out on the river, try to catch some big fish. We're actually going on the Geechee today. So uh, this is Cody's first time on the Geechee with me. Yeah. Um, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. We've been going on Savannah River when we hit the rivers, but today we're gonna spice it up. Throw in on the Geechee, see if we can catch some good fish. So Cody, we're gonna be balling on a budget today, man. So I'd say under 20 bucks, Okay. but how about you put a price on it and let's go in there and buy the baits with tax and everything. All right. What, what do you I think you wanna keep it at? I say let's try to ball on a budget of around $15, 65 cents, something like that. <laughs> 65 Is that cents, a weird number? you just wanna add that in? Yeah. I mean, we can do it. Okay. So I assume like some soft plastics, like maybe a hard bait, yeah or two maybe Probably one throw a texas and then there, so. yeah definitely maybe some hooks maybe a little bit of weights our problem recently guys has been like weights you cannot find any bullet weights anywhere and that's been like the biggest struggle like every time i go to walmart or go to any place nobody has any weights so i'm praying that they have some weights today i think we got some hooks but we're gonna go in here grab a few soft plastics maybe grab a hard bait and see if we can get what fifteen dollars and sixty five cents yeah all right fifteen dollars sixty five cents let's get it I don't know, bro. It's a lot of people. Bro, this is way too many boats. So I just looped around. There's 13 people just standing on the dock down there. And that is not a big dock. I, I don't think there's even a parking spot open over here. We ended up coming out a little later. Your boy slept in a little bit Saturday. So I think what we should do, I was just talking to Cody about it. I think we should put it in on the Savannah River, but go fish Tidal, which we've only fished in one video in the last like five months. So I think we go out there to be a little different. Um, we'll be playing around with the tides. I think we might be able to catch some more fish. There's just way too many boats, and I think they also have a tournament going on today. So let's go ahead and hop on the road and head to the Savannah River. All right, so we just got out of this ramp. There's some boats out here. They might be having like a little pot tournament, but I was going to show you guys this. We spent $15.60. We're five cents short, but let me show you guys right there. With tax, it's $14.58, and plus $1.02, $15.60. All right there. Five cents short, Cody. Man, I'm to yeah. I'm trying to make it after, but what we're gonna do now is go ahead, back the boat in, get her out there, go head out to our first spot. I'll show you guys everything that we bought. We'll go ahead and rig up the rods and hopefully catch a really big one today. I'm hoping we catch an eight pounder. I just really want a big river bass. And it's been a minute since we came in tidal water. I think we have an opportunity. We're just gonna have to get out there and hustle through a bunch of baits and uh, catch some big fish. Let's get it. All right, so we just got out to our first spot. I haven't fished out here in a while, and this is like where I started fishing out on the river. So I'm kind of pumped about it today. Um, we got four different baits for y'all, and then also a little surprise pack of weights. So I'll show y'all. The first bait that we have today is actually a Zoom Speed Crawl. This is in Standard Green Pumpkin. Then we have a Strike King Sanko right there, and that's Watermelon Red. We got a regular pack of Zoom Flukes, and that's just in regular white pearl. And then we have a Strike King Spinner Bait right there, and that's just a regular white spinner bait. I think that's gonna catch them today. I think all the baits that we got, we're gonna end up smoking them on out here. The one thing is the water is super murky, as you guys can probably tell behind me. We've been going upriver recently. The water's a lot clearer. When you come down here to tidal water, you'll notice the water clarity um is ridiculous the difference is unreal and it's pretty dirty out here so i wish we had some darker colors you know this watermelon red i usually wouldn't throw in dirty water this green pumpkin i usually wouldn't throw in dirty water but i think we're going to be able to make it work today i also got this pack of uh these are egg sinkers i cannot find bullet weights anywhere so we just got a pack of egg sinkers we have a few bullet weights that we'll use um, but if we run out we'll just plop these on so 
I want to be rigging all these baits up on a extra wide gap hook, probably three aught. Um, you can get away with a four aught as well. But I think the bait that I'm going to start off with is the Senko right here. I think I'm going to chuck it around for a little bit. Cody will probably fish a little bit today. I'll let him pick out one of these to start throwing, and then we'll probably use the spinner bait for one of the last lures and uh, see if we can complete this challenge. Balling on a budget, only $15 at Walmart. Let's see what we can do with the baits that we bought. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and rig up this Shanko on this little Texas rig. Let's see what we can do. I might need to retie that, I'm not gonna lie. I might need to retie it. But a Senko is a bait that just catches fish, guys. Even though we don't have the exact color I think we should be throwing, it's gonna catch them. I just have a feeling. So this is the rig that we got right there. Very basic. That bullet weight is a little too big. I'm telling you guys, I cannot find bullet weights anywhere. If any of you guys have suggestions on where I can get some bullet weights, let me know because it has been hard. I think I'm going to take a trip to Bass Pro and see if I can find some. But that is the rig that we're going to start off with. See if we can catch a fish on this. Then we'll probably switch up to the crawl or the fluke. Possibly throw that spinnerbait around. I don't know. I'm pumped about today. I think we could uh, possibly hook a really big one. So let's get to work. All right, let's get it started. Right away, first cast eight pounder. Eight pounder. Eight pounder yonder, you know. Hey, it looks saucy. What I will say today, guys, too, is, you know, we're in tidal water now. Water goes up and down, and the water is pretty high today. Not, not going to lie. It is a little high, a little full. But we're gonna try our best. We, we talked to, one guy that was leaving out of the water, he was at the ramp, he, he came early this morning and he said, what, what did he say, Cody? This, he really said a bass and a mudfish, didn't he? I didn't hear him, I don't know. I know he said something about a bass, I don't know if he only caught one or, but he said, his, his buddy said he caught a mudfish, so I'm hoping that doesn't mean it's super tough today, <laughs> but uh, I have high hopes. I know we can find them and get to work and catch some really good fish. I have confidence in ourselves, so. Let's go ahead and start casting around and see what we can put together. You got him? Nice. What is it? It's a warm mouth, I think. Really? Oh, it is, dude. That's a chunk of a warm mouth. Holy cow. Dude, look how fat that thing <laughs> is, dude. That thing's been eating. Look at him. Look at the crawl. That, that's how you can tell how big that fish is. <laughs> that's crazy, dude. This little warm mouth gets so big. Hey, you broke the ice, though. Yeah. You think that's what's been biting you? I think that's what's been eating me. I had a feeling that I was going to get a warm mouth on that crawl. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> hey, you got to start somewhere, right? You know, what make, what keeps me off towards that even more is the fact that, you know, I'm throwing this, but I don't think they would eat a Senko. So this, and I haven't had a bite. Oh, God! Dude, almost jerked the rod out of my hand. It's a good bass. Oh my gosh, what? <laughs> okay. Nice, dude, that is so freaking crazy. That scared the mess out of me, bro. We're like, me and Cody were just talking and uh, we're like, man, we've seen everything today except for a bass. And he's throwing that crawl and those warm mouth kind of have been pecking him. He's had, he's had like three bites. And all of a sudden this bass just jerked the rod out of my hand. I'm gonna be honest, man. If I wouldn't have landed this fish, I would have never thought it was a bass the way he bit. That is a thick, chunky dude. And what a way for the first bass today. That was awesome. That's a good fish, man. Man, that's, that's really a chunky, good chunky bass. I can't believe how she bit it. You should have felt it. It like kind of hooks at itself. I just kind of leaned into it and she was running. But Cody just caught a warm mouth. Your boy just caught a bass. Let's get it, dude. Yeah, I was dragging it to the side and he just... I got one. I'm dragging it, dude. Oh. Pablo. Picasso. Well, there we go, guys. Second bass. Is what, five, ten minutes later, Cody? Yeah. I think we're getting on him. He ain't big. But he didn't even feel like a bass, to be honest with you. He bit it like something else, but I was dragging it the same way what I was talking about before, you know, I was hopping that bait, wasn't getting any bites, started dragging it. 
then you start getting some fish eating it. So the small little details that you pick up, you know, when you get out on the water are very important sometimes, you know. You can go from hopping your bait and not having bites. You know, who knows, you could have, we could have fished out here for five hours hopping it. I might not have caught one. Figuring out that, that dragging it right there was getting the bites, boom, instantly. 10 minutes, caught two bass, so let's keep it going. All right, guys, we're gonna try the old fluke ski. Put that fluke on. Let's skip her up a few times in here. Ooh. Looks like a wake off that bank when I threw up there. So, I'm gonna just tie this bad girl on. There's really no reason for me not to have it on right now because I'm not gonna, I have multiple rods with me today. And I had my chatterbait spinnerbait rod, so I was like, I might as well tie it on and I can pick it up whenever I want, throw it, pick up that fluke whenever I want, throw it, throw that Senko, that curl, just kind of have them all tied on. So that is what we gonna do. And I'm hoping we'll get one on this bait today. Water is very murky, so I think this could be a good bait. It's just the fishing seems a little slow. We talked to a few other people a second ago and it really don't seem like anybody's doing any good, but I mean, we caught three fish in a short amount of time. So I think we can have a pretty decent day. We just gotta put our heads down and keep covering water. So this is the real question, Cody. We we saw that there was a boat fishing in here about 30 minutes ago. <laughs> Do you think we can catch a fish behind them? Well, <laughs> judging on the past and our past experiences, I've seen 100%, time, yeah. several other anglers on lakes and rivers and still catch them. So That's true. I think that we got a good chance. That's true. So guys, we, we were just... There was a guy that was here when we were pulling up to the first spot and this is a little canal, you know, it ain't much. And you can tell he already fished it out. He was just coming out of it. So we're gonna have to catch whatever the heck he didn't catch. So maybe we'll get a bite, maybe we won't, but I think we can. Cody was just saying in the past, I mean, we've done it. We've done it to extreme levels too. We're on super tough days. So I think we can catch one or two back here. Let's just focus up. Really? I don't know why the boat keeps turning, dude. My power poles are gone. What it actually like? That, that was bad. Really? What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put a crawl on like you, cause I kind of. I took my hook out. Did it? Yeah, I'm gonna put one of those crawls on, cause I already caught two on the Senko. What did it just thump you one good time? Really hard, and like I went to like get ready to set, and it was already. I don't think it ate it all the way. Is all the way in the back. All the way in the back. On the it was crazy as last time. They were biting like more right, right out in front of us. Yeah. Problem with today is all these boats. They've already hit all of this. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, I got one. Dude, he spit it out. That, that might have been a mud fish. That was a good, that hunt, like a million percent of bite. He, uh, he just like went, pulled back on me, dude. And that was it. Like I lifted up to make sure it was him and I felt him pull down. Oh, it's a good bass. Nice. Look how fat that son of a gun is. Oh my God. Well, there's the crawl knocked off the list. Even though Cody already caught a warm mouth. The, I know the camera doesn't do the justice, does it Cody? Oh, dude, you can see that. Can you kind of tell? Yeah. Dude, he's so fat. That's one of the fattest bass I've caught. <laughs> That's, that is crazy, man. Some of these river bass just get so chunky and healthy. But that's on a little crawl. You know, I caught two on a Senko, one on a crawl. Haven't got any on the fluke and the spinner bait yet, but it's another nice bass, dude. It's just so chunky. There might be more fish down there. We did catch him behind that guy. We caught it. Yep. That's just a brute. 
There he goes. Let's see if we can get another one in there. Cody, you have him? Oh my God. Is a monster? <laughs> oh, Cody! <laughs> I thought he was so big, dude. It was acting like a it big It sounded fish, so yeah, big. This little guy. Hey, tell him what you were doing because it plays back on that video we made. I was working it like a top water. I was casting it out, keeping it on top, reeling it pretty fast, and it just came up right there by that log and, and smushed it top water. So. He was reeling that crawl. Yeah. I've been all day throwing that crawl on the bottom and just bouncing off the bottom, and then today, or over here, I just switched it up. That's awesome. Thank you, little, little guy. Dude, why did that thing sound so big with everything that it did? So we just got done with our like, what, what is this, Cody? Third spot? Yeah. Third, third spot of the day. We've caught five, six fish total, I think, including Wormouth, maybe around five fish. And uh, man, it's been a little tough, but we have been spending a lot of time on stuff that I don't think we should be fishing. We came back in here in hopes that we would catch a few. We ended up catching one. Cody caught that one on that crawl reeling as a top water. So we're just gonna have to keep moving. I threw that spinnerbait a good bit. Had one really good like boil on it. I threw it out there. The spinnerbait was falling with the blade spinning, and one fish just slapped it and boiled on it. But rather than that, I haven't had a bite on a spinnerbait. I threw the fluke a good bit, skipping it up on some of these trees. Nothing. The only bites that we've been able to have has been on a Texas rig. So. We're gonna head out to another spot, keep throwing our baits, try to catch a few more fish for you guys, and um, see if we can just hook that good one. I know we're just steps away from hooking a really big fish. <laughs> he ate it. Yeah, it's a decent one. Get your butt up here. All right, guys, finally got that fluke done. I skipped up in that spot, you know, had that one come off and got this one to eat it like a top water, which is the best feeling ever. I think there's more bass on the bank right next to us, but that's that's a really good bass right there. Nice Savannah River bass, very beautiful. We're starting to catch fish, caught fish on a crawl, caught fish on the Senko, caught fish on the fluke. And uh, now we just got to catch a fish on the spinner bait. So pretty fish, get her back in the water. Thank you, Bubba. He ate that thing cool too. He came up like a top water, missed it, popped it one more time. I saw him twirl on it. That was a good bite. But uh, I think there's gonna be some more fish over here. Give me some, Cody. Yes, sir. Let's get it. All right, guys, we got one on the fluke, which is exciting. Fluke is one of the best baits that you can possibly throw. So we should be able to get us another one on it. I wanna throw that spinner bait some more, but I wanna play around with this fluke just a tad bit more. I can like skip it under this. So you got this like hangover right here. And our, you know, see how to skip right up under it? That's where those bass are. You gotta get this bait in the right spot because let me tell you, there's a lot of boats at the boat ramp and everybody is hitting all the lakes right here around the boat ramp. So we're more than likely going behind people. Well, we 100% are, there's a boat right there. And there's probably a boat earlier that hit this because every spot that I threw in that, I was like, all right, there's a, there should be a bass there. There hasn't been a bass there. And then the only spots is like stuff like that. That it takes a really good cast because some of the people that you know that fished here earlier today might not be able to cast that well under the trees so you know i know i can get this fluke up under there and those are the hot spots that these bass should sit at so let's keep on covering some water and work back in here and let's see if we can keep catching them dude that was crazy oh my god that bait just glided so good I was watching your line. It's a war mouth on a fluke. <laughs> look at that right there. Oh my gosh, look how pretty that fit. Dude, look at the look at the white marks on the bottom of his thin <laughs> look at the white marks on the bottom of his thins. Thins. Thins, thins, thin shins. Fins? Fins. Fins. Like, that's crazy. I haven't seen that on a warm mouth yet. All right, baby. Thank you. On a fluke. Those things that you did anything. Dude, I was watching you, and I had my bait sitting there, and then I, like, it felt heavy. I was like, what? Yeah. You know those little Ned rigs I got? Uh -huh. Oh, my God. You could probably... 
Nice, Cody. Is it a, yeah, it's a bass too. You think that's him or a different one? I think that's him, dude, because he was just sitting there in the same spot. That's a good one too. Those people are probably gonna get mad in a second, Cody. We better calm down over here. Yeah, we've done it before to people. <laughs> that's a nice one. That's a nice one. That's a good fish. Good job, brother. Thanks, man. Good job. I got one too. Oh my god, look at that! God, oh my god! Dude, that's a fucking look at that! Oh my god! Guys, look at that! He choked it! And look how fat! That's the fattest thing I've ever seen! It's got a turd hanging out and everything. Dude, that <laughs> that is a toad, bro. Oh, you are dirty. <laughs> Look at your face. <laughs> that was disgusting. You gotta play that one in slow mo. <laughs> oh man, dude, that's crazy though. Like, let's let's be serious here. <laughs> that is that is just stupid, dude. I'm telling you, if we put a Ned rig right now on Cody around this bank, you would catch so many of them fat warmouth. Yeah. If you guys want to see a video of that, <laughs> let us know because those things are freaking brutes. I wouldn't mind catching them. Oh my God. I just have one right there too, man. Yeah, he's got me. I think there's another one up there. Nice little guy. Not big. He's about as big as that warm mouth. <laughs> you gotta love it. It's so much fun, guys. I don't come out here with a fluke much, but I'm a big fan of, you know, skipping under trees and fishing as productively as I can. And it just feels good getting this fluke way far back under there. You know, when I have that Texas rig on, it's hard to skip it unless you have it pegged. But this fluke just, you know, you can get it back there in the thick stuff. And this is just a lot of fun, but I'm just gonna keep on throwing it, guys. I'm, I've picked up the spinnerbait a few times, but if they're not gonna eat it, they're not gonna eat it. I'm gonna keep on putting this in front of their face. Alrighty, boys and girls, ladies and gents, we made it back to the ramp. Let me tell you, we had a good time on the water. Got the cover on the boat, got her all dressed up, and man, was that a fun time. I just wanted to do something a little different, guys. If you enjoyed like the challenge video on the river, let me know in the comment section down below. Hit the like button, get this video to 5,000 likes, we'll do a second one. And I would like to know y'all's feedback on what other challenges would you like to see, not only on the river, but on the lakes and other places that we go to, because I'd love to do it. Just spice up the videos a little bit so it's not just pure fishing and try out some new things. But I really appreciate the support. Like I said, if you enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And I will catch y'all in the next video.